The grand opening of the Grand Palazzo Club was, well, picture perfect. Governor John DeJong of the Virgin Islands joined Executive Chef Greg Engelhardt and Sal Catrona, President of the Neighborhood Association, in cutting the ribbon. It was quite a party, and it went off without a hitch. It didn't happen by accident, and certainly not overnight. This is how the Grand Palazzo Club looked less than a month before the grand opening. N.A. Board President Sal Catrona was also the project manager. Today is November 18th, and you're opening December 13th. Yes, sir. That's 24 days. Yep. Are you nervous? Not at all. It was Catrona's baby, and he saw it through to completion. The finished product is nothing short of exquisite. Check out this view. The bar lights up the room. Here's the dining room and the most important room in the house. 30 Chateau Briand all day, one well done, that's it. The kitchen. This is, after all, a private dining club. The extraordinary ambience surpassed only by the most delectable cuisine. This is what happens when you open a restaurant. You have a bunch of friends and everybody gets dressed up and looks lovely. You cook a bunch of food and then you hope that you don't burn anything. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Thank you. I always told everybody who's ever eaten at the Old Stone Farmhouse knows there is no us without you, and that's actually couldn't be more true. Yeah. 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 I propose a toast to a lady who's here tonight, who's really the power behind the throne. Uh, Whitney, please stand. Oh, Whitney! <laughs> lady and helping these poor guys to get organized. <laughs> <laughs> On Chef Engelhart's menu this evening, spicy Maine lobster bisque with aged sherry and scallion whipped cream, or if you prefer, chilled vichyssoise with a hint of white truffle. The main event, a Chateaubriand, personally and lovingly attended to by the executive chef. Dinner also included a choice of carpaccio of North American venison, poached golden beet salad with cracked black pepper goat cheese. Whatever you choose, you might want to save some room for the coquille Saint-Jacques, poached jumbo sea scallops and bay shrimp, one of Engelhart's all-time favorites, which he did nurse along. Dishes most dear to me are the ones that took 10 years to learn and and maybe haven't even mastered yet and those are the ones that keep me going. Coquille Saint-Jacques, uh, the scallop dish on the menu tonight, is a dish that that represents a lot to me and not just not just the dish itself but the foundation of it, the, the logic, the, the actual principles, you know, the that's what for me classical cuisine is a foundation of principles that when you understand, you don't even go farther than that because that's it, you know? That, and so Coquille Saint-Jacques on the menu tonight um, is about as classic as it gets. The reviews were over the top. I think it's great. It looks beautiful. It's amazing. Love it. We believe on the Neighborhood Association Board, which governs this suite, that we have the best chef in the world. <laughs> The Grand Palazzo Club is for the exclusive benefit of all Ritz-Carlton Club members and their guests. It is owned and operated by the suites owners who comprise the Neighborhood Association. Our hats off and a big thank you to them for this outstanding enhancement of the St. Thomas member experience. On behalf of the Great Bay Condominium Owners Association, I'm Tim O'Brien. Bon appetit. <laughs>